For today's English task, we're going to be looking at adverbs, imperative verbs and adjectives. And this piece of work will help you with your right on Friday. And your right is going to be all about how to look after a dragon. So in your packs, you will have a sheet like this. I'm going to show you today how to fill it in and what it all means. And then you're going to go and do the same, but how to look after a dragon. And I'm going to do it on how to make a jam sandwich, okay? So, first of all, we need to remember what an adverb is. So an adverb tells you how you do something. So for example, I could walk to the shop, but I'm going to slowly walk to the shop. Slowly is the adverb. Then we've got the imperative verb. Now the imperative verb, it's a really good way to remember it by saying it's a bossy word. So it tells you what to do like cut, stick, stop, dance. It tells you exactly what to do. And then we've got the adjectives which as we all know are describing words. So, first of all, my activity today or my task is going to be to um, use adverbs, imperative verbs and adjectives to talk about how to make a jam sandwich and your work is going to be on how to look after a dragon. Okay, so what I'm going to do, just to make it a bit easier for myself, first of all, I'm going to start with my imperative verb and I'm going to tell myself exactly what it is that I need to do to make a jam sandwich, okay? And I'm going to, th I think I'm going to do it to make it easy for myself in chronological order. Chronological means in the correct order that it happens. So I'm gonna think about the steps that I will need to make a jam sandwich, and I will use the imperative verbs in the correct order. So first of all, I know that I need to get some bread. Okay, so I might use the imperative verb, it might be to pick out some bread. So I'm going to write the word pick here. Now for my adverb, I need to think about how I want to pick that bread. Am I going to quickly pick the bread out of the bag or am I going to take my time with it? I think I'm going to use the word gently. I'm going to gently pick my bread. Now I don't just want to say bread, I want to make it sound a bit more exciting, make this bread desirable. So I'm going to call it, oh, soft. And fluffy. Now remember that your choice of vocabulary, adjectives, adverbs and imperative verbs that you use today is going to help you in your writing on Friday. So you need to make sure that these are the words that you want to use and that you're happy with, okay? So after I've done that, I think I've got my bread out and I need to open my jam jar, don't I? So what I might do, well my imperative verb is going to be to open. I'm going to tell myself to open the jam jar. So I'm going to open. How do I want to open this jam jar? Well, I need to be quite careful, don't I, so that I don't spill it everywhere. So I'm going to write carefully. So I'm telling myself to carefully open, and then I've got a jam jar. Now I'm going to think of a word to describe the jam jar, or the jam jar lid. So I'm going to say it's usually going to be made out of metal, and metal is quite a strong material. So I'm going to write strong and metal. Hopefully now, as I'm adding words to my table, you can see where I'm going with it and how together on Friday when you do your instructions, this is going to piece together. So I'm gently picking it and it's soft and it's fluffy. Okay? So after that, I need to spread my um, fruity jam onto my bread, don't I? So my imperative verb is going to be spread. And my strawberry jam is nice and fruity. So what I might write here is fruity. If you can think of another adjective, that's fine. So remember, if you've got two or more, you need commas between them. For this one, I'm just going to put one adjective. You don't need two or more for each example. And I think I'm going to do it quite slowly. I don't want to do it too quickly because I'll break the bread all the time. So I'm going to write slowly. So my instruction is to spread the jam, but I want to do it slowly, okay? So just remember that, keep going over it, check that it makes sense. Then I need to have a little look at what to do next. But once all my ingredients are on my sandwich, I might have skipped a couple of steps here, but once all the ingredients are on, I need to pop the bread back on top, don't I? Instead of uh, saying pop the bread on top, I might use the word place. So I'm telling myself to place the bread, I'm doing it on top of it, so 
I want to do it perfectly so that they're lined up, so I'm going to use the word accurately. Okay, so I'm not just saying place it on top of the other piece of bread, I'm saying accurately place it on top of the other piece of bread. Now I need a word to describe it, so I think I'm going to use the word, oh, scrumptious. Because this makes this um, sandwich sound delightful. Okay, I've got the word scrumptious. And I'm going to have one more. Now the last thing that I need to do before I eat my sandwich is actually cut it, cut it in half. So my imperative verb, my bossy verb, telling me what to do is to, to cut it. Now if you're using a knife, it's really important that you're really sensible and careful with it. I want to use carefully, so I'm going to use the word sensibly. Sensibly. So I'm going to sensibly cut and I'm going to cut my sandwich. I think I might use the word delicious. Okay, so as you can see here, I've filled in my table with adverbs, imperative verbs and adjectives. Now, if you look at this one, I've just completed my work for how to make a jam sandwich. You're going to do the exact same thing, but with how to look after a dragon. So you're going to have to use words that are imperative verbs that tell you exactly how to do it, okay? And then you're going to use adjectives that describe the dragon or describe how you're going to do it whilst you are looking at the dragon, okay? Me and Miss Grady can't wait to read all of your work today because you're going to have a really fun lesson on Friday where you piece it together and write a set of instructions. We can't wait to read what you've written.